Tuesday. Hi, it's Tuesday, and you're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Okay, we're making beer bread. Hey, hey, everybody. Hold up. We've been making a lot of beer recipes. You might be sick of it. This is the last one, I swear, but I think it's really cool. So that's something I would like you to know. I think that food that's made with beer in it is pretty cool. And if you make food with beer in it, I think you're cool. And if so, fact so, I've been making food with beer in it, I think I'm cool. I'm pretty cool, slap it high. So I found this beer bread recipe and I had to make it because I had all the ingredients in my kitchen already. So easy. Easy. Love that. I love it so much that I decided to make a completely other thing with the beer bread that I had no ingredients for. Yep, I that makes sense. I make sense in my own head. And then later I go, you didn't make sense back then. I hate you. I hate you so much. It's too real. So I thought, well, go well with beer bread, soup. Bread and soup love each other. Bread and soup are friends. I personally love tomato soup. I thought we'd make a creamy tomato soup. We'll see how that goes. Let's make this dish. These dishes. Whatever. You got it. Let's go. Step one. Open a beer of your choice. This is not for the bread. This is for your face to help you with the cooking stuff that you're going to do. This recipe actually seems very easy. I'm super pumped on it. Let's hope it is actually easy. But yeah, by the way, I'm drinking a Modelo Negro from last week because they're pretty good. I had never even heard of these before, but they're pretty good. I'm into you. Don't get it in your head about it. Step two, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, and I don't care. You figure it out. Google. Next, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients, so grab a bowl and get pumped. The number one thing I've learned from reading this recipe a couple times is that sifting is very important. If you don't sift the flour, you will get a hard biscuit. Who wants a hard biscuit? Not me. Not anyone in this house. There are only two people here, and neither of us want it. It's been voted on. So we're gonna do three cups of flour. Normally I like unbleached flour, but I opened it up and it had bugs in it. So we're going with this. Three cups. Do you have bugs in you? No. Sifter. Wow, oh, this camera makes it look like I'm really far away. Here, I'll help you. Yeah. Get closer, baby. How's it going? What's up? All right, cool. Sifter. Flour. Three cups of it. Do it. I hope this bowl is big enough. Ah, why? Oh, why? Why does this kitchen hate me? Now we're gonna add three teaspoons baking powder. Do we sift this? I'm just gonna sift everything. New rule. One teaspoon salt and a fourth a cup of sugar. Those are all our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna stir them up here, mix them around a bit. I hope this doesn't ruin the sifting. Oh, maybe don't mix them around. I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't tell me to do that. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay. Thank you. Let's just add our last ingredient, beer. 12 ounces of it. I'm using a pumpkin ale because of the holidays. It's fitting. You use whatever beer you want. Different types of beer will give the bread a different type of flavor, so keep that in mind when you're doing it. I would like a pumpkin-y flavor. Thank you very much. So yeah, just pour that in there. And you don't even have to add yeast because the beer is the yeast. Science. Google it. So I guess we just pour it in here. I just wanna do a good job. I just pour it all in there. I'm just gonna mix this with my hands. It's Easier. Okay, you can't spoon, you're not helping. You are not handy. Because <laughs> it's a spoon. Okay, this is really sticky and I hope I did it right. Next, we're gonna grease our loaf pan. Did it? Put our beer dough, bread dough into the loaf pan. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna take a fourth cup of melted butter, which is half a butter stick. I'm using Earth Balance. You can use whatever butter you want to use. You know. And we're gonna pour our melted butter onto our beard. This looks wrong and I really hope I did it right. Now we're gonna bake this in our oven for an hour. Get in there. Butter beard soup. Ugh, that looked very wrong. I just wanna do a good job. Please let me to have done it right. Okay, so now I was gonna get started on this tomato soup, but I forgot a main ingredient at the store because my brain is an idiot sometimes. Not me, I'm not an idiot. It's the brain up there doing things dumbly. Yep. Let me just tell you, we're doing a recipe from Hot For Food. We've been doing a lot of their recipes lately and they've been huge hits. We've had a lot of luck with them. You guys should really check them out, Hot For Food, if you haven't already. We love you guys, big fans. Looking forward to this tomato soup. I have a good feeling about it. Once Steve brings this very key ingredient, I'll give you a hint. It's the tomato part of the tomato soup. It just does its own thing up there. Look, he got tomato paste! He saved the day! Paste. You're welcome. You're, I said thank you. Okay, now we're gonna take a pot and over medium heat. Medium. We're gonna put a tablespoon of butter. Three-fourths cup of finely diced onion. I prepped this while 
we were waiting. Two cloves of minced garlic. The recipe calls for one clove, but I just want to be safe. We need a safe soup. Safely having lots of garlic in it. Oh, fuck. Okay, so the onions were supposed to saute first, and then we're supposed to add the minced garlic like after like a minute or two. I'm breaking all the rules today. So if your garlic seems like it's gonna burn, just turn the heat down. Solve your own problems. Oh my god, onion and garlic are the best things to ever create smells. It smells so freaking good. Oh my god, you smell so good. Are you done yet? Our onions are very fragrant. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of tomato paste. The bomb missing ingredient. Do it. You better be worth it. Stir this frequently for two minutes. Hey, 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 play with the others. Okay, I think it's been two minutes. We're gonna add two cups of vegetable broth and one large can of crushed tomatoes. Now we're just gonna bring this to a boil and then lower the heat to simmer. I did not come up with that, it was the recipe. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the timer just told me that the bread is done. Our beer bread, how are you, how are you looking? Beerly recognizable is how. Oh, look at that, beautiful. All right, I should put this down because it's hot. All right, so our bread is done, but our soup isn't quite bready. <laughs> It really needs to catch up. Tomatoes. I got nothing. Our soup's just about boiling. We're gonna reduce the heat to a simmer and add a couple things into it. Half a cup of cashew cream. How did you get cashew cream? Well, I'll tell you. So you make cashew cream by soaking a cup of raw cashews in boiling water for 10 minutes to hours. Maybe even overnight, if you can. I didn't have overnight amount of time, so I just did it for like an hour. And you're gonna drain them, and then you're gonna blend them with a half a cup of water. It makes a really creamy consistency. How do they think of this shit? I don't know, it's science. Google it. We're gonna add that to our soup, though. That's what makes this our creamy soup. Makes like a this consistency. Do a boner. We're also gonna add a tablespoon of coconut sugar or whatever sugar. It said coconut and I have it, so coconut it is. A half teaspoon sea salt and a half teaspoon pepper. Okay, now we're just gonna cover this with a lid and let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. How do you make time speed up to now? It's probably science. I'll Google it. See you in 20 minutes. All right, so it looks like our soup's done, or as close to done as it's gonna be for this impatient household. It's done. I cut into the beer bread. I may or may not have tasted the beer bread. It may or may not have been fucking delicious, and I can't wait to eat it. Let's serve the soup up. You could probably get this a little bit thicker if you waited a little bit longer, but we're not gonna. Oh no, we're gonna eat this bitch. You're not a bitch, I'm so sorry. And then the finishing touch is you just add a little bit more of that cashew cream on the top, and voila, you've got a sexy, ass soup and beer bread. Well, it's sexy is a relative term. I did my best. Look at this. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for this beer bread. It is gonna hate. Tomato's gonna tomate. Unless you forgot it at the store. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you stand for. This looks tasty as fuck. Look at that. Let's see if it's tasty. Okay, honey. We got beer bread. We got tomato soup. What kind of tomato soup? Creamy tomato soup. Uh, should I do the dunk thing? Probably. Well, why don't you taste the bread by itself first, since that's the star of the show. Wow, what is that? Beer bread. Oh, it's just beer? It's basically just beer and flour. Dude. Like, the beer acts like a yeast. It's really good. There's something about homemade bread that I just absolutely love, and this is like, right on the money. Killer, right? Yeah. This was so easy though. I feel like you could make it so many different ways. Like if you wanted to put cranberries in there, you could. If you made it with a darker beer, it'd probably taste a little bit different. If you made it with a light beer, it'd taste lighter. You could probably put herbs in it if you want, if you want to get all fancy. I used a pumpkin ale and I feel like you could definitely taste the pumpkin. I can taste the pumpkin part, but not really the beer as much, but it's really damn good. So good. Yeah, really good. All right, how about the soup? Yo, that's great. Yeah? I love tomato soup. Man, yeah. hot for food. Dude, killing it. I don't know how you do it. I don't understand. How do you come up with things? <laughs> yeah, just cooking is already hard, right? Yeah. You gotta make it. Following a recipe it. is already hard enough. Following Coming up that. with a recipe? Not it. Yo, this is good, man. Yes. Win win. Mm -hmm. So they had a grilled cheese sandwich with their soup, and I was like, what if you made a grilled cheese sandwich with beer bread? I mean, that would be a very thick grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> I just thought of that. What if you melted cheese on it? Yeah, I'd be down. You can do anything to this bread, man. Here, hold on. I hated this in the microwave because I'm actual trash. Okay. Well, that's hot, bud. It's great. Yeah? It's tasty! Yay! 
Oh, hell yeah. Bomb, 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 bomb. Dude, I don't care what you say. I love these beer recipes. I just think food with beer in it. So very, very cool. Also, that one was a really easy recipe. You really need to make it. Well, subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and also come back on Thursdays for Thirsty Thursday, where we make a cocktail and drink very responsibly. See if that's tasty. Please like me. And by the way, open bar. Thank you, let's go. We're here, saving lots of kitties.